guys so we wanted to send our little update let you guys know how we've been doing and give you just a little recap from our last few weeks here in kentucky yeah flew back uh to south florida this weekend um had about two and a half days uh to just hang out with the church uh in miami uh got to teach at youth on friday night and preach on sunday morning and uh, it was a blast i went to the beach uh, played ultimate frisbee. I mean, just being outside. I forgot how much I love wearing like shorts and <laughs> like not having to tie shoes because I've got chancletas or sandals on. And, <laughs> and uh, it's just, yeah, it was it was wonderful. <laughs> I wasn't jealous at all. Not not the least. <laughs> I, I had a lot of rice and beans, a lot of cafe con leche. I just soaked it all as all of it in in just a couple of days. And while David was there, um, Samantha came up and visited with me, and it was such a great time. I had a lot of time of prayer. Um, the, the SWI class that I'm taking this semester is on prayer, which is so cool because it's something Samantha had been already like reading a book on and like wanting to grow in. So she was able to come to class with me that Thursday night and experience some of the teaching that I'm getting here and just the rich the richness of those classes. And then we're able to just spend a lot of evenings praying, praying for for our family, for our friends, for the church, um, both back in Miami and here in Kentucky. And it was just so rich and beautiful mm. and wonderful. And she helped me paint. These guys are crazy. We painted the girls' They're room. They're insane. <laughs> they, no, they didn't just like put a coat of paint on the girls' room. <laughs> they painted like a mural that spans three walls. and. <laughs> It's so beautiful. Classes have started, which means, um, you know, back in lectures every week, um, about two weeks in. I think just realized a little bit uh, the different dynamic there is uh, this time around. I think every class I walk in, there's somebody that I remember, a face that I recognize, somebody I can say hi to, um, you know, sometimes even a professor that I'm familiar with. And, and that really, um, that makes a big difference. And uh, you just feel less like an intruder into the campus and more like you, like I belong there. Um, so that's that's been really good. Um, yeah, I feel the same, like, just with the seminary wives classes, like the first semester is so overwhelming and yeah, you just like, you don't even know where the classes are and like everything, everything, everything is new. And coming in in the spring, it's like, I'm shocked at how many people that I run into that I know. Looking back and reflecting on our, our first semester here and that, those first six months, they were just really dark times for me and um, I didn't expect to be so lonely for so long and feel so disconnected. And I look back now and I really see it as God's providence and His kindness because He taught me a lot through that time. And um, but there were a lot of tears and there was a lot of darkness um but he meets us in the darkness and that's like amazing you see community that we're part of has been just a huge blessing i've formed a lot of really quick relationships there of women who we've just been able to relate on a deeper level and really encourage each other in the lord and in homeschooling and raising our kids and my kids have made a lot more friends through that community and we're just so thankful like i feel like I'm like breathing again after holding my breath for a long time. I think we realized that that structure was actually life-giving, um, mm -hmm. especially for Melinda to have that community, that regular connection point with other moms who were wrestling through being a homeschool mom and <laughs> feel like they're failing, but they're not. They're doing a great job. Uh, so yeah, one prayer request. Um, with the semester getting started, I actually swapped classes a week and a half in. Um, <laughs> which meant I spent a lot of time that first week on the class that I dropped and <laughs> no time on the class I just picked up. So uh, between that and the travel to the Miami, I'm, you know, I've got a lot of catching up to do on schoolwork. So um, yeah, just be able to put my head down and get through uh, and get caught up to you praying for that. What about you? Yeah, um, I know we talk a lot about health here and stuff like that, but um, at this point, Olivia has had so many ear infections that we're gonna be seeing an ENT actually this Friday. And um, they'll most likely be putting tubes, doing tubes in her ears. Um, not sure 100%, but it seems like that's probably the path that we'll be taking. 
Um, on top of possibly some other things, just because I mean, she's had like four or five um, ear, most of the time double ear infections mm -hmm. within just the last couple months. So the doctor's like, this is not good. We've tried a lot of different medications and stuff like that. And um, so I just, just prayer for like healing poor Olivia. Like she's normally a really sweet girl, but when she gets these ear infections, she just, she just doesn't know how to communicate it, so she's mm. screaming a lot and really uncomfortable. And but more than mm. anything, just for her health, that we would have wisdom on what the next step would be, and um, yeah, that the doctor's appointment would go well. Well, guys, thanks for following along with us. Thanks for everybody who's praying for us and supporting us as we go on this journey. Uh, we love you all, and we'll check in again soon. Yeah. Bye. Bye. We had a doctor's appointment today which meant I had to leave the house, even though it is seven degrees outside. <laughs> Hold on. So it's seven degrees outside, but with the wind chill, oh my goodness, <gasps> can feel like in the negatives. So this is what it feels like. <laughs> like it hurts to breathe. So when I breathe in the air, <laughs> it feels like little daggers going down my throat <laughs> so I'm just gonna take a little breaths I had to venture out into like seven degree weather <laughs> it is it is definitely an adventure I can't wait to get home holy moly I'm freezing the scarf though is everything okay I'm gonna get in the car oh oh my gosh All right. Olivia's in on the action too, aren't you, Oli? So the polar vortex is gone. It went from zero degrees to 65 degrees and so the kids got the pool out. How's the pool feel, Mary? <laughs> the pool is still, the water's still a little bit cold. <laughs> but is it warm outside and sunny? <laughs> what do you think about that, Lily? <laughs> Is that cold? <laughs> Whoa, that's a big one too. How weird. I've never seen like a flurry like this. Oh yeah, they are. Mayor, what you making? I'm making a record. It's like the theme of the week. <laughs>
before and after with the colors. Yeah, I feel like these curves, you see how they're rounder and those are sharper. Turn your hair. Let me put your head down so I can see the paint in your hair. I just have a little paint. What are you guys looking at over here? So pretty. Look at it. So pretty. Yeah. What do you think? What is it? Right against her wall, our bedroom is, it says, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Uh -huh. And when you walk in, it's Somewhere <laughs> Over the Rainbow. Yeah. 